So hey my YouTubers and everyone in the world, today is December the 21st. The time is now 4.40 p.m. I am so highly excited. Yes, vacation is officially on, guys. Vacation is officially on. I'm really excited. So today's topic is going to be about, I'm going to give you guys some advice based off of situations that happened today, but I'm also going to show you guys what I got from, um, you know, some of my coworkers at the job. So... Here's a little bag, yes. So let's see what's inside, guys. <laughs> so this is what I ended up getting from my coworkers at my job. And we're going to open it up because there's something inside of it. So let's see what's inside. And mind you guys, this is so crazy. Sweet honesty. Wait, can you guys see it? Let me tell you guys something. Honestly speaking, as a child, this was one of, oh man, this was one of my favorite sprays, lotions, the whole nine. I don't know how these people knew at the job, but I'm so happy. I love Sweet Honesty so much. And it's crazy because I have my own personal bottle of it, and this is the one that they actually bought me. But like this used this is yo, this used to be my joint. Every day I would use the lotion, I would use the spray. Like I love sweet honesty so much. The scent is just it's fabulous. Like, you know how some scents are like not too strong, but they just right. This is what I love about sweet honesty. So I'm really, really happy. That's one of the gifts I did receive from um someone at the job. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much much okay moving forward a teacher ended up giving me some cookies that she got so that was another gift that I did receive today which made me feel you know extremely important it made me feel good when people give me gifts and stuff I mean who doesn't like gifts and guys you see my hair today was a rainy Friday all day my hair got sweated out at the job I'm gonna take it out for you guys to see I just kind of pinned it up because when I went to the job, it was looking real nice and stuff with my curls. And then now, this is like how it looks. But, you know, it don't really matter to me as long because I'm going to end up going to get it done anyway. So, I'm not stressing it. But I'm going to just pin it back up so that I can finish off this video. But, yeah, so my advice, guys, honestly speaking, um... You know, sometimes in life, you're going to have certain people that's naturally going to hate and they're going to want to do things to like just get under your skin, anything to hurt your feelings. And that's what I realized about people, like, especially when you have a strong personality, people will come at you so hard. I mean, as hard as they possibly can to try to call themselves proven a point. But guys, let me tell you something. Do not allow someone to ever have that much power over you. You understand? So at the end of the day, what I mean by that is once a person figures out what bothers you, they will continue to do it just to get under your skin, just to hurt your feelings, just to possibly even make you cry if that's what type of person you are, but anything to make you feel sad. And some people are just like that. Some people are really just like that. So let me tell you guys something. Learn to d detach yourself from these type of situations. Meaning, if you know that you and someone don't get along, don't ever let them catch you, you know, having a moment and seeing what actually gets under your skin. Because I'm going to tell you something. Once a person finds out what actually gets under your skin, they're always going to use it against you. So my advice is to honestly detach yourself from certain situations. If you know that certain situations are not for you, or you know that this person is trying to prove a point or get under your skin and hurt your feelings, you got to take your heart out of it. Once you take your heart out of it and you say, you know what, it's not that serious to me, you got it. I mean, it fucks with them. You know, because now this person doesn't know what to do to get under your skin. Like, if this doesn't bother you, then what will? I'm going to give you guys like a prime example of what I'm talking about. So a prime example of what I'm talking about is let's say, you know, you meet and you have a little crush on a guy. 
and there's a girl that don't like you and she knows that you have a little crush on him and what she does is she purposely you know um she's purposely all over him or whatever the case may be like you know just to get under your skin like all of that is being done to irritate you but when I say you have to learn how to detach yourself from situations that's what I mean like it's nothing is that serious to the point where someone is, you know, has that type of power over you to get under your skin and irritate you and make you cry and hurt your feelings. Like, fuck that. At the end of the day, learn to detach yourself from those type of situations. Do not let the enemy know what actually gets under your skin. Even if you are a little bothered by certain situations, like, don't let it be known to people because once people get a whiff of what bothers you, they will always use that. The enemy will always use that against you. And that's the last thing you want. You don't want people to be able to have that type of power over you. I used to be the type of person, and this is like honest to God. Hold on one second. Come on. Come on. Come on. Like... Honestly, I used to be the type of person where, um, you know, people had so much power over me. And it's so sad, but that's how I was back then, you know, when I was younger and just, you know, when I was very naive and stuff. Like, people could do something, one thing, that would just get under my skin and it would ruin my entire day. But I got to a point where I had to ask myself, why do I allow these people to get under my skin so much? And I'm at a point finally where it's like, you know what, I'm not going to let you have that type of power over me. Just because you're miserable don't mean that you're going to make me miserable as well. And that's how a lot of people are. Because they're not happy in their own personal life, what they want to do is they want to bring that misery to work and they want to bring that misery everywhere they go. And I just like completely distance myself from that type of stuff at this point. Because I'm in control of how I feel. And if I feel like you're trying to be toxic when you come when you come my way then i'm going to get out the way i'm going to let you go mess with someone else you're not going to get under my skin so you guys have to start having that type of mental power to the point where people don't even bother you no more like you know what people started entertaining me like i'm at a point where things don't bother me anymore like what you do does not affect me at this point it's like okay it's all entertainment thank you for the entertainment for today you know, and that's how you have to see it. You got to learn to laugh stuff off and not even take it that serious because if a person really likes you, it's just certain things that they're not going to do. And if they do do that, something that you don't condone, then you have to question this person's loyalty. You have to question where their um trust lies in the whole nine. Like, you just have to question them like, oh, okay, I see where you're coming from. No problem. But, um... Yeah, I had to vlog about that because sometimes people do things that's so extra and it's so unnecessary. And it's like, you know what? Who cares? Like, what you do does not affect me anymore. And you have to get to that point where you have that type of mental strength because people will always try to get under your skin, especially when they don't like you. They're going to do stuff to, like, hurt your feelings and they want to see you down and out. And you can't give them that type of power. Who are they to, to deserve that type of power from you? You understand? And, I mean, you're better than that. And you're better than them. And you're better than that entire situation. And that's how you have to look at things sometimes. But I definitely had to vlog about this because, I mean, people do so much extra stuff. And it's like, you know what? Okay, I see where you're coming from, but you're not going to get me like that. So, hey. But you got to be mentally strong out here because people will try to break you down every chance that they get. You know, they bring up old stuff that you try to forget about. They sit there and throw stuff up in your face that you thought that you, you could trust them with or they talk about you with other people. And it's like, you know what? I'm not going to give you guys the satisfaction to see me down and out. If you feel like you want to talk, then go ahead. Do what you got to do. Whatever floats your boat. You know? And, and that's just how I see it. But, um, yeah, guys, I'm so, so excited 
that my vacation is officially on and popping. I don't go back to work until the 2nd of January. I'm so, so excited. I feel so blessed to even have a job working for the Department of Education. But guys, I wanted you to know, like, do not let people get the best of you because you're better than that and you're better than the situations that people try to put you in the middle of. And you have to learn to separate yourself from people who are no good for you, you know, because their karma will catch up with them. All the games that they play, at some point in time, that's going to catch up. That's just how life is. That's just how the circle of life is. But like I always say, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And of course, visit my website at shoploveronline.com. Until next time, guys, like I said, my advice for the day is stop allowing people to get the best of you because you are better than that and you are better than the situation that people are trying to put you in the middle of. Peace.